Hello, um, my lovely youths. I want to show you a couple things about making eyes on our bestie beasties. So these are three types of eyes I'm going to attempt making today. I'm going to attempt making these felt eyes where I attach them with this little whip stitch. I'm going to attempt making felt eyes where I attach them with a little running stitch. And then I'm going to attempt to make some fully embroidered eyes where I use a back stitch up here on the top and then I'll just like a little looped whip stitch right there. And I'm going to start there and see how it goes. All of these stitches that I'm going to be trying are linked. We've either practiced them before or they're linked in our Google Classroom slideshow for this under the, the link that says embroidery stitches. There's like a gazillion beautiful embroidery stitches that you can use to create a bajillion different little beautiful faces on your bestie beasties. And I'm excited to see what you create. Um, let's take a look at how I figure out this. All right, so here we are giving things a try. What I've done here is I've drawn two eyes on my piece of felt. I tried using chalk, but it kept rubbing off, so I went to pencil. I'm just threading my needle, and I'm going to start off with the one where it's just embroidered eyes. And as I did this, I was making little mistakes here and there, and I'm not going to narrate each of those mistakes but I change how I'm holding my hands. I change how I'm pushing through the needle. Um, there's one point where I make my stitches too far apart and I have to go back in and add another stitch. Um, but as I'm going, I am problem solving. And if I make a mistake, I'm taking that stitch back out and I am trying again because I'm going to make mistakes and so are you and we're all still awesome. Um, and the best thing about this is learning and building our confidence and building our neural pathways for solving problems like the awesome humans that we are. So I'm about to wrap up the embroidered eyes and I'm going to go on now to some of the felt eyes. And I tried writing on there with pencil, but it just wasn't working. It was kind of like sticking. So I went to that light marker. And as I place the eyes on the felt, I'm putting the marker side down. So you don't see that I ever wrote or drew anything with marker on there, it's like our special secret. Um, so there I just thread my needle and I'm starting from the back so I can push down through that little pink piece of felt. And what I notice right away is that pushing down through the pink piece of felt is helpful because if I was pushing the needle up, the pink piece of felt would try to get away from the fabric each time. So I'm just whip stitching my way around there. I'm trying to keep the stitches even. If I put the needle in a spot where it looks too crooked or angled incorrectly, I'm redoing the needle because I want it to look even. Okay, now I'm just tying my finishing knot on the back. I'll clip it and I'm going to start my next one, which is going to be the one where I do the running stitch around the eyes. And spoiler alert here, I mess up like right away and I notice it right away, but I decide to finish this first eye. Um, and the way that I messed up is I... I made the eye too small and the running stitch just doesn't look that good in it. So I recut another eye when I do the second one to make it look a little bit better and bigger. It adds more space for me to do more running stitch. You might have also seen that I snuck in there with my scissors and I cut a little piece of the pink felt off just because it was coming apart. Now this video is less than three minutes long that you're watching. However, it took me over a half hour. So that was over a half hour's worth of work for me to just do these simple three sets of eyes. And I am an experienced sewer. So please plan out your time accordingly. I would say if this had been my first time sewing, this one probably would have taken me about 45 minutes. And these two would have both taken me about a half hour. Um, what I did here on this sheet is I am asking you, like, what are you going to try? You don't have to do my ideas. Get your own and try them out because the world is your blank piece of felt, you beautiful, beautiful angels. Um, okay, have fun with this.